Determining the active austenite finish temperature of nitinol wire with a linear variable displacement transducer, or LVDT for short, is an easy way to get fast, accurate readings. Along with the LVDT probe, you'll need safety glasses, protective gloves, a calibrated thermocouple, counterweights, another system to monitor movement, a container for the alcohol bath, a hot plate, a mandrel block and indenter tool, stir bar, and denatured alcohol and liquid nitrogen. Start by preparing your samples. For this demonstration, we're using super elastic nitinol, which should recover below room temperature. Place a sample in an appropriately sized mandrel to achieve 2 to 2.5% strain. Gently set the mandrel in the bottom of the container and, wearing safety glasses, slowly add denatured alcohol until the mandrel and wire are completely covered. Now comes the fun part. Wearing safety glasses and protective gloves, slowly pour liquid nitrogen into the container. Next, place the thermocouple into the dish to monitor the temperature of the alcohol. Your target temperature is minus 55 degrees Celsius or colder. Use a stir bar to ensure the temperature of the bath is consistent. When the chilled alcohol bath reaches temperature, use the deforming mandrel and apply enough pressure to deform the nitinol. Position the LVDT probe so that it is touching the wire. Test your counterbalance to be sure it is not applying pressure to the wire. You want neutral buoyancy. Once the probe is in place, turn on the hot plate to begin warming the alcohol bath. Be careful here, the heating rate must not exceed 4 degrees Celsius each minute. As the bath temperature begins to rise, the nitinol will begin to recover its original shape, pushing against the LVDT probe. When the displacement of the LVDT probe stops and the displacement versus temperature curve has plateaued for a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius, the wire has fully recovered. It is recommended that the alcohol bath not exceed 40 degrees Celsius. Different media will need to be used for nitinol with warmer transformation temperatures. The data collected from this test is displayed by a displacement versus temperature plot. Draw tangent lines on the curves according to ASTM F2082 to find the intersection. This intersection will show you the active austenite finish temperature. That's how we conduct active austenite finish temperature testing with a linear variable displacement transducer at Fort Wayne Metals. To discover more tips and solutions to your wire challenges, contact your local Fort Wayne Metals representative today.